Hello, I want to talk to you about this very special message. This is talking about how to witness the kingdom of Yahuwah and the name of Yahuwah to a Christian, and specifically this time to a Christian evangelist, a full-time minister, evangelist that's working for a church. Now, we are, we are very confident that this individual had no clue about Promote the Truth, what we stand for, and that we have nothing to do with any organized religion, nothing to do with Christianity, nothing to do with any pagan type religious organizations that clothe themselves as light, but we know they're dark. We're here about exposing and it promoting the truth and exposing darkness. And so we get all kinds of messages in at Promote the Truth. But this is very unique because we can use this as an opportunity to teach you, to teach the nations, how do you witness to people that are involved in organ, organized religion who believe they're doing the right thing, but you've got to be able to present Yahuwah in a way that it's appealing to people, that they have an opportunity to actually come to the truth. And so this gentleman sent this message in from Bangladesh, which is over in Asia near India. And I just want to go through this email interaction and some of the events that's taken place since he sent this initial email in. And I wanted to see if you can learn some things from this, if it inspires you to get out there and present the word of Yahuwah and be that disciple. Go forth and utilize that power when the set-apart spirit comes upon you to be his witness. So he sends the email in. And the staff checks it out, and then they have me look at it. Now, here's what he sent in. It's a gentleman by the name of Nirav. And he says, hello in Christ. My name is Nirav, and I'm from Rashahi, Bangladesh. Let me give an introduction on, about my journey. I have come from Hinduism to Jesus, and since then, I have been working for God's kingdom here, especially among the youths from different diversity. Also, I share the gospel to Muslims and unbelievers, and here we have 99% unbelievers. Since last year, I have reached hundreds of you, as every week I do outdoor fellowship gatherings with monthly indoor programs and follow-up. It's challenging here because there are major threats and persecution all the time, but God is helping and giving me the courage to work for his kingdom. Now, I, I want to bring that point up because a lot of folks, when it comes to spiritual things, they don't even really go through any real persecution. Like most of you listening to me, you haven't been through any real persecution. You see, being in a country where hardly anybody is believing what you believe and taking out what you believe to be true, in most cases, you're going to go through some persecution. So he says he's going through that, right? Now watch, again, it's coming from a Christian evangelist, full-time worker for a church there in Bangladesh. He says, also, I have to raise for my ministry money because I don't have any salary. But God has been kind. And in 2023, my mother and sister accepted Jesus and came to live with me. After I was abandoned by them and all of my family for the last seven years because of my belief. See, that's some persecution. That's being ostracized. But he says, look, I brought them back in with me. Now watch this. Also, my father died five years ago. Now I and my family together, we serve the Lord. My request and prayer is that if you have any plans for Bangladesh, then together we can work for Bangladesh, the country of Bangladesh, where there's like 173 million people, by the way, 173 million people in that country and reach this nation where millions of people need salvation. So let's pray together, and I'm hopeful for outreach or a branch of your ministry in Bangladesh. Hope to hear from you soon. God bless you for his work, for your convenience. I'm sending some of my ministry work as of December 2023. Thanks, Evangelist Pastor Nira. All right, so it's obvious he don't have any clue about the fact that we are not a Christian ministry whatsoever, right? So our staff sends this message back, and we got an incredible team at Promote the Truth that sent this message back to Nira. Now watch how we respond to things like this. Nira, we are not a Christian organization. 
We represent the most high and creator of all, Yahuwah. We suggest that you watch this video and then decide to leave the pagan religion of Christianity. Watch this video. Now, the video we had watch is what you can share is the namevideo.com. T H E namevideo.com. T H E N A M E V I D E O.com. The namevideo.com. At the time of this recording, we're over 350,000 views on that video, sharing the truth about Yahuwah, about Yahusha, exposing all the paganism that's taking place, especially in Christianity and organized religion. We're exposing it in that very beautiful video. It's about a 30-minute video, and it breaks it down in detail. So we suggested he go through that. And then we said, then go to this link, which is truesalvation.net true salvation.net that breaks down in detail how to repent and then call on the name and be immersed into the name of yahuwah we said let us know if you decide to repent love ptt staff what a wonderful response that the team and promote the truth game see that's a good solid compact witness you don't have to talk a lot you don't have to go through a whole bunch of detail because our job is not to be the message. We are the messenger. And Yahusha HaMashiach, when he was here, he said, my sheep will hear my voice. They're going to hear his voice. So if you just give people the right, the right details. See, if you become fishers of human beings, like he's commanded us to do, and you don't go blow people out, but you throw enough bait out to see, do they hear his voice? Are they his sheep? We can't convert anybody. He's the one that's doing the calling and they got to do the accepting. Okay, so then he responds after a few days. He says, thanks so much. I have read the blog and watched the video and I was thinking and praying to God. But then I realized the name must not be God. It's the most high and creator of all, Yahuwah. Is this incredible to hear a full-time Christian pastor evangelist says, I've been thinking about this after watching the video, going through the information that we gave him about true salvation. He says, it it, it's the most high and creator of all, Yahuwah. I have already shared my short testimony, how I came from Hinduism to Christianity. I used to do whatever came up on me in the ministry, for my ministry, but since it changed my life from being a sinner and I did everything I could. Here are some of the updates that I've done in the past two years. I've shared the gospel with over a thousand people of different ages, classes, sex, race, caste, and community, communities. Around 200 people accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior. 20 people were baptized and added to local churches. I pray for around 300 people personally for their sicknesses and their problems in life. Around 100 needy people received gifts of little money, some blankets during the COVID for relief. Around 300 children received pens and notebooks and little gifts. Around 500 youths connected to youth gatherings. Around 250 people received Bibles. Direct interaction with around 30 other churches. My mother, sister, and brother have known and accepted Jesus. I was attached with the church. I had no salary, but they gave me a little allowance for my ministry. And my family has the following. And then he breaks down his house rent, his utility, his food, his travel, his ministry. And in these third world countries, I mean, they can live on $500 to $1,000. So he got a little allowance of around 550 bucks a month, which was taking care of him and his family at the, from the church, right? He goes, I realized those works are good, but I want to do everything for the right and for Yahuwah now that I see the truth. Please guide me. I know it would be difficult to leave everything, but Yahuwah will help me to overcome and, and come back to Yahuwah with my mother, brothers, and sister. Also, I remember 2 Timothy 2, chapter 2, verse 2. Is this, is this a trip, y'all? This is incredible, right? 
so that I can learn and teach hundreds of other youth here in Bangladesh. I want to commit my life to Yahuwah. Hope that you pray for me and guide me. I cried all last night. You see, convicted. When you give people the word the right way, it's going to convict them to their core. He said, I cried the whole night. And I want to get back to Yahuwah, to the truth. I know the conventional church will reject me and abandon me and stop supporting me. I believe Yahuwah will provide. So starting from February 2024, there's not going to be any connection with any church. And thus, I will have to look to Yahuwah for my family to be supported. But I want to do all the Ten Commandments. And I also want to work for Yahuwah and his kingdom and righteousness. And everything will be given for what I need and my family needs. So if you could possibly do a Zoom meeting with me or video call to try to verify me. So he's saying, I, you can verify, go ahead and vet me, do whatever you need to do. And if you could train me and guide me so that I could be a good follower of Yahuwah as well and teach those other hundreds of youths the truth. Thank you, Nira. Now, what do y'all think about that? You see, how do you witness to, how do you convert someone that's lost thinking they're in the light? Dealing with Christianity or any other organized religion, right? How do you deal with them? Well, you saw that we kept it short to the point and it convicted them to his heart. So the staff writes back, Nira, this is a great report. We passed this on to our elder brother, Jake, so over to me. He is requesting to get on a Zoom with you, which rarely happens. That's true. Brother Jay is on Eastern Standard Time, New York Time, so we think that you are about 11 hours ahead of him. So please advise if you're available at 9 p.m. your time on that on the, the next day. If so, here's the link to join Brother Jay at that time. So we gave him a Zoom link, okay? Now, I get on a Zoom with him. He accepts the Zoom in invitation. I get on, and I get right to the meet. I don't play no games. The nice connecting. When I first saw this young man, I was like, this man, this young man, he's serious. And he got, I could tell he had a good heart, had good intentions. But I told him my story of how I came to the truth and what I've done since finding the truth of Yahuwah back in 2007. And he's like, wow. I said, yes. So I'm, on, I'm going on 17 years. So in pagan May 2007 is when I found Yahuwah. So this upcoming May 2024, pagan May 2024, will be my 17th year following Yahuwah. And I shared my journey. And I said, you want to talk about persecution? You want to talk about going through it for his namesake? Oh, yeah, that you about to find out some real persecution if you really want to follow Yahuwah. I said, so there's no decisions I'm going to make for you to do some things with promote the truth until you go through these steps. And so I gave him the videos to go through. Now there's 10 videos. And if you are in our, our telegram group, if you go to pttgram.com, you can scroll up and you can find the exact 10 videos I gave him to watch. I said, there's no sense in you reaching back out to me. There's no sense in you uh, contact us anymore till you go through those videos. And then that will tell if you're ready to really follow Yahuwah, have a true conviction of your heart, and then make a move for the truth. So this morning at 5.04 a.m. our time, which is probably 4 p.m. his time, he says, hello, promote the truth. And elder brother Jay, I'm very happy I was able to meet with you over the Zoom. It was a wonderful moment to hear your true life journey from you. As my point of life, I'm encouraged and hopeful that Almighty Yahuwah is going to use me in Bangladesh and the Indian subcontinent. I am starting the journey as I want his blessing and mercy and grace on me. I've decided to serve Yahuwah. I seek all authority of Yahuwah and guidelines from you, Brother Elder J, and promote the truth. So please send me all the formalities 
any terms, any conditions, any procedures to be a part of Promote the Truth as a worker for Yahuwah. By the way, I have given my resignation letter to the church, which I have been working on, as I feel sorry to follow the wrong way anymore. So there will be no more support from them starting now. Now I'll work right away. Also keep in prayers as at this time, I'm going through more of the videos and the entire website for more growth. Nira, there you go. So what we sent back was, Nira, this is another great report. We are very pleased to hear that you've decided to follow Yahuwah as he is the only way to truth. Brother Jay would like to have another Zoom with you tomorrow. So now I'm going to have another one with him. At the same time, please go through as many of the other videos as possible because Brother Jay will be asking you some more questions. Here's too important to make sure that you go back through how to follow Yahuwah. So if you go on to our YouTube channel and you type in the search how to follow Yahuwah, everybody needs to watch that video. And we also have a link on our website at promotethetruth.com called How to Follow Yahuwah. OK, and then we gave him the Zoom link. So that's the report as of now. But what did you learn from that? How do you witness to a Christian or anybody else in organized religion and be effective? Well, I just showed you that, number one, you got to make sure that you got Yahuwah in your heart. Have you called on the name of Yahuwah? Are you immersed into his name? Our witness is very, very strong because of our conviction and how we have followed Yahuwah and we were willing to give up everything to do so. And we've, we went through extreme persecution and continue to do so. Why? Because it's a promise from the scriptures. But he says in the scriptures, Yahushua HaMashiach, when he was here, he says, no, not one person that comes after me will not receive a hundredfold in this lifetime, as well as the life to come and persecutions. So we will be blessed a hundredfold in this lifetime, as well as the life to come. But we also got to be willing to go through the persecutions and we got to tell people the truth and we got to remove ourselves from being the message and just be the messenger. And these type of things can happen in the name of Yahuwah. So I encourage you to take this, grab this, let this put some power in your soul to go out and be his witness. Go read Mahashim, Acts 1-8, where it says, and you will receive power when the set-apart spirit comes up on you to be my witness. And if you're not witnessing for Yahuwah, then you don't have his spirit. So we encourage you to get that. So go over to truesalvation.net. Go through that. And make sure you've repented properly. You've got immersed into the name of Yahuwah and then go be his witness. And let's continue to grow. That's how you witness, by the way, to a Christian evangelist and anybody else that needs to know the truth of Yahuwah. And that's everybody. Get out there and spread the truth. Love you all. Bye-bye.